Good morning. Um, I had the privilege of growing up here, um, having parents that put me through the school here. Um, I was saved at a very early age of five. I remember it like it was yesterday. Um, Darcy McCoy, who was an evangelist, and he was driving home, or taking, him and his daughter were going to, uh, coming to school, and they got into an accident with a drunk driver. And I remember that he had died, and I remember his funeral. Um, and the pastor had talked about, or the person that was preaching had talked about hell and how um, if, if, if Dr. McCoy or Brother McCoy wasn't saved, he would go to hell. And I remember that kept me up uh, all night long that night. And my mom, she, <laughs> she always got up at 5.30 in the morning to do her devotions. I can remember any day I, I slept there was a hallway right past our door, and every morning at 5.30, I'd see a light come on, and my mom would be there reading her devotions. And I remember that next morning, I got out of bed, and I went to her right at 5.30, and I told her that I needed to be safe because I was terrified of going to hell. And I accepted Jesus as my Savior, and I had the privilege of coming to this school that we have here, the academy, and growing up with teachers that cared about me, and, and they gave a lot of time and effort uh, into my life to see, me, to, to see me grow in Christ. And when I was a senior, I had uh, seizures. And I think God was trying to tell me something. He was trying to get a hold of my heart and to teach me that I need him. I can't go on through life all on my own. And that's something that I've had to learn. Um, as I've gotten older and married, uh, I've learned that I need God, that I need to trust on him, and more importantly, that he cares. He cares about all the little decisions that I make, the, the little choices that I think he doesn't got. When I bought, my, I bought a house in 2019, and I didn't really think God would care about it, but as, we were, as I was going through, you know, I was trying to fix it up, and God at time after time was like, you know, I care that you made this decision and I care what decisions you make. And he kept showing to me that he cares and that if, if I just take the time to ask him and to come to him with the things that I'm worried about, he'll listen and he'll take the time to answer my prayers and to show me what he wants me to do. God's blessed me and I've been married now for a little over a year and what I've learned is that I need God because... I can't love my wife and do the things that uh, I should as a husband on my own. I need God's help for that. Thank you.